Hi there, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal. So if you've gone to the trouble of setting up a 4G cellular internet connection for your home, for your office, to give yourself backup internet that in the event that your primary connectivity drops, whether it's being provisioned through DSL or through cable, um, that you're gonna have something to fall back to, fail over. Um, so you might have this up and you got your boxes rigged up and then you're wondering, well, hang on, is this thing actually doing anything? Because I'm supposed to have internet the whole time and if your internet's working pretty well, then you might be curious, is it all coming, is the ISP having an unusually good month or is this thing working and I don't even know it? Now, for me, there's uh, an easy way to kind of get a sense for that and that's basically if you have a big speed difference. So for me, the difference between the connectivity I get through my ISP and the connectivity I can get through 4G here at the moment with the built-in antennas on the router is pretty big. And it's definitely noticeable that when I've done my tests and moved over to cellular, it's a lot slower. So that's your first clue if you're ever on the internet and suddenly it's like the difference in speed is noticeable, then you might check and see. Now the second way you can check is uh, there's a few websites for checking your ISP. Uh, What's my ISP is one of those and you can just Google what is my ISP and uh, there's websites that'll basically look at your uh, public IP address and try to determine based upon that. And I find for me, they're pretty reliable. Uh, whenever I'm using ISP, it'll usually get it right. Whenever I have uh, manually tested the failover, it usually gets it right too. So those are just ways you can at any given point in time, just quickly check, is the router giving me cellular or is it giving me ISP connectivity? Now that's for a point in time. There are a couple more ways you can do that that are, that are maybe let's say smarter. So let me just show you guys. Firstly, on the um, main page of the TP-Link router, if you log into the router's uh, web address there, you'll see a network map. That's the very first thing that you get. And this actually tells you straight up who you're connected with. So I have my TP-Link router configured in wireless router mode. And what that mode means is that it's passing through the internet and the cellular is only there for a backup. Now, when I see it like this, you can see the schematic internet going into router and the router is connecting for me two wired clients and three wire wireless clients currently. Uh, internet is good. If it's cellular, it says up here like 4G. So that's number one. You can go in at any time and just see if you're curious whether you failed over or whether you're working on your primary line. Now the second way you can do that through uh, the router is to go into this screen. Now for this you need to go into the advanced uh, tab, so click on advanced up the top, go into network, then go into data settings, and here you will have a running tab on the data you've used. Now today is the 5th of September so uh, that I'm recording this video on. So in the five days since the start of the month, I've used 31 megabytes of cellular data. That's how much it's used. Now you can also do some more things like this. You can put on a limit and uh, you can tell it when to start the month on. And if you want to, you can also manually correct this. Uh, so if you've been testing the, the failover like I was doing for these videos here and you used up like 10 megabytes, you can reset back to zero. So you can say, you know what? I want an accurate count of exactly how much cellular data this router has been using since the start of the month. And based on how much data you've used, you can again get a feel for how much this thing is actually providing cellular connectivity. Because you know, if you're seeing the whole month has elapsed and you've seen 50 megabytes, you know it's pretty much never failing over to cellular. Uh, you could ask, is it worth subscribing to the backup line in those events? I would tend to argue that based on what I'm paying for the 4G card, which is about 15 euro per month, based on how much the router cost, which was about 100 euro, I would be very reluctant to not keep subscribing to the failover. I think it's a really useful thing to have, but that's your decision to make. But anyway, that's how you can find out if you want to see how much you're failing over, how much cellular data is being used. You can at any, any given time check the network map check your ISP using one of the ISP lookup tools 
and if you want to get a running count of how much data you've used since the start of the month, you can also do so in the data, setting, data settings page in network in the embedded web server. Thank you guys for watching. If you'd like to get more videos from me, feel free to subscribe to this YouTube channel.